In question number 108, uh, it says that two similar springs P and Q, this is work energy power question you can say. P and Q have spring constants Kp and Kq such that Kp is greater than Kq. One spring constant is larger than the other one. They are stressed first by the same amount. Same amount means the value of x is same in both of them in case A and then by the same force as in case B. The work done by the springs WP and WQ are related as in the two cases you have to for case a i can write w as half kx square isn't it this is the energy stored since they are uh, stressed by same amount so i have used x here so in first case you will find that the work ratio is same as the ratio of the spring constant if kp is greater than, greater than kq so in first case you will find that wp is greater than, than greater than wq in the second case if it is by the same force then i will be using the equation w is equal to f is square by 2k as you know that f is equal to kx so uh, ultimately it will be the same expression but in second case since they have been stressed by same force so i will have to use this relation so in the second case you will find that the w will be maintaining a reverse ratio uh, compared to k so in the first case p should be greater than q and in the second case q should be greater than p so long as work is concerned so for that purpose the most appropriate answer for this question will be fourth option as it has been mentioned here. So that is the answer to question number 108. Now let us switch over to question 109. Here this uh, question 109 this is uh, based on Bohr's model of uh, hydrogen atom. Uh, it is saying that consider third orbit of helium plus that means single electron will be there and you can apply Bohr's model of hydrogen atom using non relativistic approach the speed of electron in this orbit will be you can uh, directly use the formula for speed of electron in any orbit c by 137 z by n this is the standard formula for speed of electron here c is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second z value has been given to you equal to 2 137 and n n is uh, the orbit the third orbit that will be working as n so if you solve this thing entire thing you will be getting the expression like uh, 1.46 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second so i am marking the option 3 for question number 109 now let us switch over to question number 110 now here in this uh, question 10 which is based on uh, magnetic effects of current uh, you have been given a wire carrying current I the figure has been given to you here you have a straight wire coming from infinity then bending in a semicircle and then going back to infinity it's something like wire is coming from your end to my end then semicircle and going back to your end so wire carrying current I has the shape as shown in the adjoining figure linear parts of the wire are very long as I mentioned and parallel to x axis this is the x axis and parallel to that so from my to u direction that can be treated as x right side is y and upward side is z direction as it has been narrated in the question while semicircular portion of the radius r is lying in yz plane at as it has been mentioned here yz plane magnetic field at point o so here the first thing you should always check is that what is the net direction of magnetic field you will find that just by looking at the direction of magnetic field you can mark the answer you need not do the total calculation since this wire is coming this straight portion is coming from u to this point so the magnetic field will be downward downward is that minus z direction or minus k direction same will be the case for this straight wire also it is going towards you so here also the magnetic field direction will be downward so these two parallel wires they will be making a contribution of magnetic field in minus k cap direction and if you see the semicircular part then the direction of magnetic field will be inside the board and that is minus x so minus i and minus k should be there in your answer if you see the entire options you will find only fourth option has got this kind of thing you understand that so i did not make any calculation but still if you want to make calculation i mean to say the straight portion that will be having a contribution um, mu naught i by 2 pi r and the semicircular portion will have the contribution mu naught i by 4 r because it's just the semicircle and that will give you the answer 4 so that is the answer to question number 110 now let us switch over to question number 111 
in this uh, question 111 which is based on the work energy power they say that a particle of mass m is driven by a machine that delivers a constant power k k is force into velocity that you can write like i am writing power as force into velocity further i can write mass into velocity into dv by dt isn't it this is mass into acceleration that is force into velocity you can uh, balance that thing if you integrate it you can write it as v dv this is equal to k by m dt if you integrate both sides you get v square by 2 this is equal to kt by m and v can be written as 2 kt by m and under root this is the expression of velocity with respect to time so it says that uh, it is starts from rest and the force on the particle at time t is now you see force is what force is power upon velocity so whatever velocity expression you have obtained here you substitute into that and you get the expression second one as the force for this particular question so for question 111 i will be marking option 2 as the correct answer now let us switch over to next question that is 112